Robert F. Kennedy Jr., is he a serious candidate for the Democratic nomination? I mean, Biden can't last. He doesn't know where he is on a given day or the name of the person to whom he's speaking. He doesn't know where he's been or where he's going and shakes hands with invisible people. Uh, politics is about timing, where the moment is right for someone. Now, Kennedy is a free speech advocate when we're now seeing that during coronavirus, freedoms were denied, as we've heard tonight on the basis of government untruths. He's a vaccine critic. We now know that lies were told about the effectiveness of vaccines. And he offered the very stern warning that democracies were, quote, very rare in human history and difficult to maintain. Peggy, is this stuff resonating on behalf of Robert Kennedy? Well, it certainly is. And interestingly enough, he spoke before a House committee last week, and the House committee was held on the topic of censorship. At the very beginning of that committee, the Democrats on that committee tried to actually censor him and keep him from speaking. They wanted to take it into executive session, which meant that the cameras would be off and the public couldn't see it. They said that his speech was dangerous. And as he went on to testify, because they got overruled, and so he continued in open committee, um, he introduced a term called malinformation. And it was so interesting because we've heard of misinformation and disinformation, but he said, my speech was tagged as malinformation, meaning that it factually was true but it was politically inconvenient for the Democrat mm. Party. And so that was the terminology that they used in order to silence him. So I think the Democrats have the knives out for Robert F. Kennedy Jr. And regardless of how much sense he makes to the average person listening, I don't think the Democrats are gonna let him be their nominee. Mm. It's very interesting for our viewers, the UK and Australia, and we're debating this here now, want to give power to government to censor misinformation, they call it and disinformation. And Robert Kennedy has said, quote, every country that wants to actually maintain a democracy needs to understand the inclination of powerful totalitarian elements in society that want to leverage crazies, concocted or real, in order to eliminate constitutional basic rights and increase their power and wealth. In other words, because some crazies put stuff up on social media platforms, we're all going to be denied freedom of speech because some government empowered outfit classifies what we say as disinformation. Whether he gets an endorsement or not, uh, Peggy, Kennedy is on something here because democracy and free speech are under threat, aren't they? They absolutely are. And I would say, you know, in, in the in previous years or decades, he would have been a very viable candidate for the Democrats. He's probably right in that blue blood Democrat lane that um, in the past, he historically would have had a great chance, especially with the Kennedy name. But I think he might use the quote that Ronald Reagan said when Ronald Reagan left the Democrat party. He said, I didn't leave the party. The party left me. The party is so far left of where Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is today that he doesn't have a chance whereas in the past he would have been a very viable candidate. And there are a lot of people listening to him today. Good I'm glad you. he's in the race. Good on you, Peggy. Great to talk to you. It's amazing. Your insights are outstanding, fascinating and enjoyable. And we love talking to you and we'll talk to you next week. There she is. Isn't she good? Thank you, Peggy Grandy in America.